with part two of our Disney at the Holiday series, and we're starting this video here at the most magical place on Earth, the Magic Kingdom. Okay, we have just entered under the train station and getting ready to head into Town Square at Magic Kingdom. The music turned up here. Looks like we arrived just in time to see the new Disney Friends Cavalcade, so we found a spot up here on Town Square train station to watch. And pro tip, if it's open, this is a great spot to watch a parade because it gets you higher up and out of the crowds. So up there on the right is the spot we were just standing and what a super fun way that was to start our holiday adventure here at the Magic Kingdom. Also Town Square is absolutely stunning. I love these nutcracker statues that surround the circle and all of the buildings have been decked out with gorgeous garland. It is just beautiful. Then there's this 65 foot tall Christmas tree. It's classically decorated with strings of popcorn and lots of red and gold ornaments. Some of them even look like gingerbread cookies. And the base of the tree has a lot of toys and gifts, including a toy train, which kind of resembles the Walt Disney Railroad. Super cute. And is there anything more beautiful than Main Street USA at Christmas? Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. The lights that outline the buildings, giant wreaths that hang from the metal arches that stretch over the sidewalks. Oh, so beautiful. And just look at this amazing view as you look toward the castle. I think I could stand here all day and take it all in. But for now, we have to leave Main Street and head over to the Jingle Cruise for our Lightning Lane reservation. So there aren't too many ride overlays for the holiday season here, but one that is very special is turning the Jungle Cruise into the Jingle Cruise. Speaking of, hey Matt. Yes, Joyce. Do you know what Tarzan's favorite Christmas song is? What is it? It's Jungle Bells. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that Tarzan would really appreciate a ride on the Jingle Cruise, don't you? Let's go check it out. So if you get Genie Plus for the day, this is a great one to prioritize because it's one of the few ride overlays that's open to both daytime guests and guests attending the Very Merry Christmas Party. And they go all out for this one. The queue gets lots of special decorations, and they even rename all of the jungle boats, such as this one for the Mistletoe Millie. And the skippers still tell all of the same punny jokes you're used to, but with a special holiday Crazy twist. Nights. Anybody's first time on the boat? First timers? First timers? Mine too. Don't worry, I know where we're going. I just don't think we have enough gas to get there, which is fine because our boats run on coal and I am naughty for you. That's right. Oh, this looks dangerous, right? Yeah, no, this is probably something I'd be doing if I were home alone too. Oh, look, everybody. Uh, Skipper Felix has discovered the North Pole. <laughs> Yeah, we know this is the North Pole because everybody's climbing up. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, let's make some family memories. That's right, get out your cameras. Take a picture and last longer. <laughs> it's the A, one of the world, the backside of water. O, two, eight. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. Well, we just got off the Jungle Cruise with Skipper Frank. He was hilarious. That was the best ride that we've had on the Jungle Cruise. Full of super punny Christmas jokes. If that doesn't get you into the holiday spirit, I don't know what will. Right. Hashtag <laughs> dad jokes. Now here we have a view of Tomorrowland Speedway. This ride does have a holiday overlay, but unfortunately it only runs during the Very Merry Christmas party. So we are here tonight at Magic Kingdom on a non-party night day. So during this time of year, they offer the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. This is a separate ticketed event that takes place on certain nights throughout uh, 
mid-November to the end of December. And so if you're coming this time of year, we do highly recommend that you check those park calendars. If you don't plan on going to the party, and make sure that you um, aren't here on a party night because the park will close early at 6 p.m. to allow for the party guests. So as our evening wraps up here, we're heading back to the hub area to see the new projection show called A Frozen Holiday Surprise. Now this show takes place at 6.15 each night and again at 8.15 during the party. And if you want to see it, we recommend getting there at least 30 minutes early. So by the time we did a little holiday merchandise shopping, then we grabbed some corn dog nuggies from Casey's Corner, the hub area was pretty packed, so we didn't get a great view of the show. But from what we could see, it was very cute and included appearances from Olaf and all of his frozen friends. Olaf! Oh, here come my friends! Everyone! Oh, holy happy legs! Surprise! Oh, my God! 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 Now, once again, I cannot say enough good things about how beautiful Main Street, USA is at the holidays, especially in the evening. The town square Christmas tree is lit up, all of the lights on the buildings and the wreaths turn on, and it just makes the view of the castle even more magical if that's possible. And the best part? We heard a special holiday greeting from Mickey and Minnie. Season's greetings! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Now it's time to say goodbye to the Magic Kingdom and head to Epcot. We're here today at Epcot to take part in the festival of holidays. Let's check it out. So while it's not part of the holiday festivities, something new since we've been here last is Moana's Journey of Water exhibit. So we're excited to get inside there and see what it's like. And we're gonna take you with us. So this attraction is gonna take you through the journey of water, which just begins here with the rain. Okay, and they have lots of interactive features like the strings of water. They make music as you touch the strings, but it's made of water. That is so cool. So here in the stream section, there's markings on the ground that you can stand on, and then you wave your hand to the streams in front of you. like you're a wizard, you're making the water move. Okay, so here in the wetlands area, there's a dry path to the left and a wet path on the right. We're gonna go on the right just to see what it is. It's definitely beautiful back in here. There's the wet path, has some water on the ground. So that's all it was. It was just water on the ground, so you're gonna get wet if you go on the wet path. Now we're moving on to the spring. So this is another one that you can interact with the water. So we'll have Matt stand on the markings on the ground and then he's just gonna use his hand to make the spring go up and down. Okay, now we're entering the land. And again here, there's a dry path and a wet path. The dry path is to the right. Ooh, the wet path, or the waterfall opens for you as you walk through it. Show us how it's done, Matt. Okay, I have the camera, this makes me nervous. We're walking through the water. Ah, it did it! Oh, 
Matt, I was gonna get your, Matt took the dry path. You didn't get wet. Oh, it's separate? It stopped, yeah, go back there and go through it again. Okay, about halfway through the attraction, there is a restroom if you need to go while you're in here, which is nice. All that water rushing in might, uh, might hit you. That's right. Now we're at the lake. Hey, uh, Joyce. Yeah? What do you think about getting a water feature like this in the backyard? Ooh, I 100% support that. That would be fantastic. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's not expensive at all. Well within budget. Well within budget. Ooh, and here at the lake we have the beautiful tafiti. I've seen pictures of this, but seeing it in person is pretty amazing actually. Now we're back here in the ocean area. So they have a feature here where you raise your arms can make the water come up. Also, if you have a Magic Band Plus, it starts vibrating and making colorful changes back here. <laughs> it does splash you a little bit standing back here. Everybody do the wave! That's fun. This one you jump on to send the waves soaring into the air. That's cool. It's their version of a splash pad back here. But I wanted to show you carved into the rocks. Oh, he spits. <laughs> Okay, now we're entering the sky area. This looks like the last part before we exit. They have a misting machine. Well, that was so fun, very interactive. You get a little bit wet, so it might be a great area to kind of go and cool down on a hot day. Not super soaked or anything like that, but they definitely have some water that jumps over your head and splashes down and the mist is nice and cool. Uh, what do you think, Matt? What's your yeah. favorite activity? I mean, it was kind of fun doing some of the, I mean, it's all interactive, really. Uh, the little wave area uh, was cool. The jumping around bit was cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this definitely is going to be a busy, busy place in the summer, summer months. For sure. Uh, today's the first really warm day we've had here. Um, would not have wanted to do this on a cooler day for sure, but yeah, it was a good time. Now it's time to go look at some Christmas lettuce. What he really means is it's time for the Living with the Land ride. Now this ride is one that has a festive holiday overlay with lots of lights, and we're riding it during the day, so we'll see um, how much we can see, but maybe we'll have to come back and ride it at night as well. Do you know what a fish's favorite thing to do at the holidays is? What's that, Joyce? Sing Christmas corals. Oh. And of course, no trip to the holidays here would be complete without visiting a cute little purple dragon in his festive holiday sweater. Hey, Figment! Okay, so as you enter the World Showcase area, you'll find Epcot's Christmas tree. Now this tree is unique because it contains some bulb ornaments for the Disney 100 celebration, and it also has ornaments um, that have the flags from all the different countries that are represented here in the World Showcase. Then as we entered the World Showcase, Joyful was performing. And let me tell you, their performance was truly joyful. So the fun 
part about an Epcot festival is walking around the World Showcase and sampling food and drinks from the holiday kitchens. We tried lots of delicious bites like the pork schnitzel from Germany and the sweet potato mochi cakes from Japan. We were also able to try a few beer flights and couldn't resist a holiday cookie that was shaped like Spaceship Earth. We also found a few hidden Olafs that are part of the holiday scavenger hunt where for $9.99 you can purchase a game board to find Olaf and then collect a prize which was a set of cookie cutters. We also saw a few characters and then was able to catch a few of the holiday storytellers which were in various pavilions around the showcase. This was really cool because they shared stories of holiday traditions that were in that country. Do you know who I am? <laughs> well, some people call me Santa, but here in France, I am Le Père Noël. Father Christmas! I and the good spirit of the season. Without singing, do you guys know what song we sing? I know, it's an easy question. We're gonna do it right now. And if you don't know the song, it's very easy. You only need to know one important word. Can you guess what word it is? Dreidel. I know, right? All right, let's give it a try. I have a little Dreidel. I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready with Dreidel. I shall play. Oh, Dreidel, Dreidel. I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready with Dreidel. I shall play. Still really fast. I have a little Dreidel. I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready with Dreidel. I shall play. Oh, Dreidel, Dreidel, Dreidel. I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready with Dreidel. I shall play. Give yourselves a round of applause so I can catch my breath. I see Mister. It is why the sky is so bright the last few nights. And if I'm being honest, I was getting a little annoyed. It was keeping me up at night. <laughs> but I am so excited, so caught up in the story of finding the young king that the man, they, they asked me to come with them. And for a moment, I have such a longing to follow that star to the back of the hand. Happy New Year. Or, as the Japanese say, Akemashite omedeito gozaimasu. Very good. That's the spirit. Welcome to the Japan Pavilion and our celebration of the traditional Japanese New Year or Oshogatsu. And another first for us was in the American Pavilion, we were able to see the Voices of Liberty Dickens Carolers, and I may or may not have teared up listening to their beautiful voices. But the pinnacle of our trip was being able to see the candlelight processional. This show was simply amazing. I cannot say enough good things about it. Everything I've heard about it over the years just lives up to the hype. It's very popular, so we booked a dining package where we ate earlier in the day, and then we were given a special ticket for priority seating for the performance. And I'm glad we did that because we saw people in the standby area lining up over two hours prior to showtime. Now, if you've never seen the candlelight processional, this is a must-see if you're ever at Epcot during the holidays. This show features a celebrity narrator who's different on every night of the performance, and they share the Christmas story of the birth of Jesus. On the night we visited, they had Bart Millard from the Christian group Mercy Me. This is a simply majestic concert that features a massive choir and a full 50-piece orchestra. Let's listen. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed experiencing the holidays with us here at Epcot. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please do. 
Ring that bell. Ring that bell. And if you're interested in planning your very own vacation to Disney World for the holidays or any other time of the year, I would highly recommend reaching out to Lisa Peck from Travel Girl Vacations. She helped us plan this experience, booked our hotel and our park tickets for us, and she is absolutely amazing. I'll put her contact information in the description below. And we'll see you next time. Happy holidays.